right, could Deering make those legends proud this year? It's double A tournament time with no shortage of challengers. Portland is used to the big games. After back to back trips to the finals, the Moss brothers and Griffin Foley have stepped up to carry these Bulldogs to a number one seed. Deering attacks the rim, and turnovers are the name of their game. They force 23 a game. With a standout like Andrew Fleming, Oxford Hills could ride the star to an upset. In the South, Thornton is the number one seed for the third time ever. Jack Tilly can control a game at the point, and David Cohan is rapidly emerging inside. Gorham has the ability to beat anyone, evidenced by handing Portland its only loss. They'll go as far as Billy Ruby and Sam Kilborn take them. Massabesic set a school record for wins, and with Tyus Ripley Sprague and company, they'll play end to end basketball and try and run you out of the gym. This should be interesting, Michael. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. You look down south, you've got a Gorham team that handed Portland its only loss. Thornton Academy's quietly put together a really good season yeah. that has them as a top seed. Massabesic, as mentioned, having their best season ever. I know a lot of people are excited to see them. And then up north, and it's kind of felt all season like we're on a Portland Deering collision course. Unfortunately, that game will be in Augusta and not Portland. But if it holds true, you know, the Bulldogs, they just find a way to win. They're so poised, they're so talented, they know what to do, they get better at the end of the season every year. And for Deering, I think it's a mental thing. They have to find a way to beat Portland. The last couple of years they saved their best game for the tournament against Portland. They're going to need that again and maybe get a little bit of luck too. But for my money, it's, it's the Bulldogs tournament to lose until someone beats them. It's interesting how these teams handle the layoff because those, long those top two seeds get long layoffs. Right. Uh, Massabesic, you know, if they can get the tempo the way that they want, they could be a contender. Thornton, once again, don't sleep on them. All right, that is our Hoop State Tournament special for Michael Hoffer. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll have tournament coverage all the way through the month. Thanks for joining us. Hoop State at 11 o'clock 11 in February.